Hi geeks, uh, in this video we are going to see uh, mainly two things. Uh, okay, so uh, in Node.js RabbitMQ, how we can implement retry jobs and uh, how we implement a delayed job. Okay, so uh, these two things uh, are also very important. So we are going to see uh, these things along with the source code plus uh, an architecture diagram. Okay, so so that you will uh, understand easily. So uh, as usual, I will be providing a GitHub link to the source code. Uh, you can uh, know, uh, definitely refer it uh, afterwards. Okay, so uh, let's uh, see like uh, uh, how to implement a retry jobs. Okay, so. So for these two things, basically RabbitMQ doesn't provide an out-of-the-box solution. So you need to do a little uh, coding plus a configuration kind of thing to achieve these two. So let's see uh, how to implement a retry job. So uh, so if you have not uh, watched uh, my previous uh, video, uh, like how uh, you know, to publish a message, how to receive a message, how to register handles, uh, please do watch it. Okay. Um, so uh, let's see this retry okay so uh, what I did okay is um, I have a consumer um, class okay so uh, basically uh, that is responsible for uh, registering the handlers for the queue basically responsible for creating the you know, uh, exchanges okay and uh, binding those uh, queues okay to the exchanges okay relevant exchanges so uh, here if you're not familiar with the exchange uh, you can think of it as a sns topic okay so our, uh, our place where we you know put some message okay uh, with the route key okay you can think of it as a you know as a router okay so we just put some message uh, to this exchange which is our router which uh, you know routes the message based on the route key okay so uh, this exchange based on the route key just redirects those uh, messages to a corresponding queue okay so in order to do this okay so first the queues first we have to create exchanges okay that is the first step okay uh, create uh, exchanges and then uh, bind queues uh, to exchanges okay so this is uh, the thing which we are uh, going to uh, do here or we are uh, i have already did it okay so that i can uh, just explain it so basically i'm just uh, you know uh, promise uh, i'm using the promise dot all here uh, to uh, register uh, these my exchanges which i call it as a routers okay so so if you uh, see this okay so basically in this class okay uh, this connect uh, method so i this is one exchange which i am clear uh, creating okay basically assert exchange uh, creates this particular exchange if uh, it doesn't exist okay so this is my main exchange uh, this is my dls exchange and uh, this is my delay message exchange okay so these are three exchanges uh, so this is my diagram so this is a main exchange, DLX exchange, and DLS message, uh, delay message exchange. Okay, so uh, these are three exchanges uh, to which uh, my Node.js application is going to publish a message with some route key. Okay, so uh, so these are things, guys. Uh, okay, um, so uh, since we are now uh, no, uh, only bothered about uh, no, uh, uh, implementing a retry jobs okay just uh, no don't worry about the delay message exchange so it is meant for delaying a message so let's bother about main exchange and the deal, uh, dlx exchange so here uh, dlx exchange is uh, you know, uh, similar to main exchange so dls is like uh, you know we are creating a separate exchange for managing uh, uh, retry jobs okay uh, so uh, okay so uh, this is uh, Thing, uh, in connect we are just uh, registering uh, our exchanges okay uh, then uh, it calls the subscribe to queues where I'm registering uh, my queues along with our handlers okay so uh, this is similar to uh, you know uh, what you have seen in the previous video but uh, we are I have done a little modification like now it takes uh, these options okay along with the handler so uh, so what we are uh, doing is uh, with this option okay so uh, 
I am mentioning a dead letter exchange and a dead letter routing key. Okay, so uh, meaning okay, uh, what we are doing it is uh, we are creating the queues and telling okay while uh, uh, creating the queue if uh, any message okay gets rejected or expired okay we are telling uh, to route that to this DLX exchange okay with this DLX key okay so uh, basically uh, you know, uh, if some job fails we have to route that particular job to uh, DLX exchange uh, then to a uh, dead letter queue okay so uh, let's say like uh, uh, this is my handler function okay as you see like uh, let's say we published uh, some uh, main message okay uh, then um, uh, this is my uh, main exchange so uh, i published some message and this is my email queue okay so let's say like we got the message uh, okay so and then the handler function will be executed let's say within the handler function we got some error okay so now uh, because of uh, the key uh, which we mentioned it here okay uh, dlx exchange with the dlx key okay so it directly uh, you know, uh, puts this particular message into uh, this dlx exchange okay since we are giving this dlx key so uh, all the messages with uh, dlx key is routed to a dead letter queue okay so this is similar uh, to a nor uh, similar to a normal queue okay so it will have its own handler function so basically uh, the, you know, whatever the reject messages is routed to dlx exchange okay and then from dlx exchange uh, it is just routed to dead letter queue handler function where uh, we are you know, doing our, uh, uh, our own logic okay uh, for the failed jobs okay uh, to be uh, you know, uh, clear okay so uh, I am going to uh, just uh, uh, add here another uh, key uh, yeah, from so that you will be clear like whenever we get errors in processing a message they are routed from handler function to DLX okay so uh, Okay, so we are going to see the scenario. So basically, uh, DLX exchange is a queue and main exchange is a queue. So we just publish some message to main exchange. Okay, uh, then uh, because of a route key that we mentioned uh, from main exchange, uh, we get a handler registered this to this email queue, and uh, within this handler function, okay, let's say like uh, if we get any error, okay, uh, it just uh, puts the message back to DLX exchange along with the dlx key so since we know like uh, there is a queue that is uh, separately registered for handling errors uh, so this handler function is getting a uh, trigger okay and uh, again uh, you see like um, this handler function uh, will again might put back uh, this function for uh, fun this put back this message for main exchange for retrying okay so um, that's what uh, we are going to see it okay now uh, hope you understood uh, the importance of DLS exchange and DLX key so uh, so uh, okay uh, so this uh, in this assert option basically we are saying like uh, you no know, uh, way to route the key whenever uh, we get errors or reject the messages similarly uh, similar to email queue we mentioned this dead letter queue and dead letter routing key because uh, whenever we reject again the messages in the dead letter queue okay it has to go back to the uh, you know, main queue or main uh, exchange uh, to process it so it's typically we are, what we are doing is retrying the job okay so um, i will just show it to you okay uh, so this is my user route okay um,
so um, what i am doing is i am publish publishing a message okay this is my message content okay uh, with persistent option uh, so this is my message i am publishing it to main exchange uh, with this uh, road key email uh, queue key okay so this publish it is similar uh, to what we have implemented uh, previously so uh, just added this uh, separate option okay which takes uh, the configuration options here so uh, basically uh, we are just publishing uh, to this exchange with a route key and with this content okay with these options okay so now that exchange knows uh, where to route okay so based on the route key that we passed here so uh, uh, so now uh, we are uh, giving the email queue key so email queue key is uh, registered yeah with email queue okay so um, so this email queue a handler will be triggered first okay so let's see the handler okay so uh, handler for uh, email queue is uh, as you see it's uh, this process okay so it gets this message which we pass which we publish and uh, then basically we uh, get the control here okay this based on message.mail type okay so then after that we get uh, you know uh, email so so the thing is uh, we are making it to intentionally throw the error so that uh, you guys understood uh, how uh, it we implement a retry jobs okay so let's say like i'm just calling some uh, dot hh and a string okay so just throw error uh, within uh, uh, this job okay so uh, as soon as uh, it gets this error okay so we are catching that error so we are rejecting the message okay uh, okay so this is the main important uh, method here we are just rejecting it uh, with requeue option false so it has to be a uh, false if we give true value okay it is again requeued to the same email queue okay so make sure uh, you have to give false whenever catching error so that it will be routed uh, to our uh, dlx uh, exchange uh, okay then uh, back to this dlx queue okay uh, so now we are rejecting it so uh, a queue okay whenever a message gets rejected or ne uh, no, uh, negatively acknowledged or expires it is directly routed to um, uh, dlx exchange queue which is our de uh, dead letter queue okay so uh, this is the important thing here so uh, let's see like uh, uh, uh how uh, it works okay so hope uh, you understand what we are doing it here so whenever we reject it has to go to the dlx exchange and uh, queue register for dlx exchange is uh, our dead letter queue okay so the handler for this is uh, this one okay so dead uh, dead queue job okay so uh, what i am doing is uh, I'm just passing the message okay so um, so let me print this okay x that header okay so uh, you will understand the importance of it okay so basically there is a there should be a separate queue worker that should be running okay uh, to for uh, consumer okay so you see uh, there is a separate consumer that I am running Okay, it is similar to how we start a separate uh, node.js for application so it's a small uh, kind of microservice so uh, uh, we have to run it uh, and we have run start worker so basically all it does is uh, it starts uh, our worker process which is uh, qworker.ts which i explained it uh, in the beginning okay so qworker this thing so now we are starting the worker so rabbitmq consumer connected successfully um, now we have both our application and our worker uh, up and running so let's publish uh, uh, a email message and uh, let's see like how retry works okay so uh, basically uh, we are intentionally making a job fail uh, in the email queue handler so which i uh, 
show to you uh, this one so we are just calling this uh, hh which is uh, we get some error and uh, we are catching that error and putting back to our dlx exchange queue okay so uh, the handle for that uh, queue is this one so here uh, we are just uh, you know checking the uh, retry count which uh, basically um, uh, rabbit mq puts uh, this x death header okay basically it holds a count value of how many times uh, this message has rejected uh, from a particular queue so we are just checking it so if it is exceeding some uh, count uh, we are uh, just acknowledging it uh, okay if it is uh, not exceeding we are just again putting back to the main queue because we want to retry that job uh, three times okay so that's what uh, we are doing it here so uh, let's uh, send a message okay email message and obviously it fails and uh, so let's submit it okay so uh, you see this logs here uh, which is just printed so first time we got the error and um, here uh, you see the queue uh, which holds an array of uh, objects so each object uh, uh, having this uh, rejected message and queue name exchange name etc so uh, we are just checking uh, this count so uh, if it is greater than four it means like uh, basically uh, we are retrying three times here so we are basically printing uh, uh, because initial account is not greater than four it just printing it message so which you see it here and again we are rejecting it uh, from uh, dead letter q okay so because uh, uh, we want to uh, put this message again back to the main exchange okay so that's the reason why i'm rejecting it here again so uh, rabbit mq knows okay uh, because of uh, this dead letter exchange routing key uh, which we mentioned that it has to put back this particular message which is got rejected from a dead queue back to the uh, main uh, queue okay which is main exchange okay again uh, there it will uh, retry it again so again the control will come here uh, which is uh, the handler of uh, email queue okay so again it will uh, throw error and again we get this message so it, this process happens until it reaches uh, the count value of greater than four okay so uh, where we retried three times okay we processed basically uh, more than three times and we retried that particular job three times okay so uh, uh, so this is guys so basically the hack is uh, we are uh, the hatch is to check this count value and uh, acknowledge it meaning uh, you can do basically here uh, i'm just acknowledging it so basically telling uh, ready to delete a job so here you can you know, log a message uh, you know throw an error uh, report an error to third party api log it do whatever you want just make sure uh, this is your typical error handler after the retry okay so um, uh, hope uh, you understood it here uh, understood okay so uh, this is retry okay so this is my architecture diagram so i'm going to provide uh, both architecture diagram and uh, uh, the source code uh, in the description so hope this is useful okay okay thank you guys thank you for watching